Hello everyone! Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're running around with our big old sword. We're doing more setup in this one. Uh, trying to get a lot of more, lot, a lot of stuff. Now, that's the land octopus. You can run down there and fight them. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let, let's go fight them. It literally takes nothing away from the game. So, these guys are incredibly resistant. But, when they get to that, that's how you do the most damage to them. Yeah, I had a little one behind me that was hitting me. Now, they will always drop this, the land octopus ovary. But every once in a blue moon, they will drop the land octopus helmet, which looks hilarious. And there's a little rune there. Nothing serious. Get a drink real fast. Now, you can hop off your horse and kill these uh, wolves, or you can just run around. I'm going to kill them because I have horrible luck with these guys, like, jumping me when I'm not paying attention. But, I mean, if you're fast enough, you don't have to. I don't mind doing it because, you know, it's, it's some... Extra runes. But you're going to just run through here, collect all the shinies. Okay, now we're going to hop on Torrent. Right on down. We're going into the woods because there's a spirit spring that we're going to use. Run, 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 run. There it is. I'm going to use this to get up. If you need more flasks, hit that and he will drop and then you can take it to refill your flask. <laughs> There's another little graveyard over here that you can uh, take out. But as you can see, there's a bunch of wolves over here. I would still say do it. And I'm going to show you something else. Okay. Once again, if you're following along with me, this path uh, with some little exceptions that are stuff that I change all comes from the fighting cowboy like he doesn't raid uh, this graveyard and, and little things like that where I'm just going you know one one or two more places he didn't go But 100%, uh, if you want to go ahead or you want to, or you find my voice annoying and you still want to play this game, you can easily go use his. Now, if you are playing this game region locked and you didn't get a spell casting focus and you don't want to buy one, kill this guy. He will always drop the glintstone staff. Every single time. He will always drop that staff. So now, we did all that, we did all that, yeah, we're going to go here next. So once again, we are not staying to fight any of this stuff yet. 
We will be back here to do it later because there's two different weapons. There's the whetstone. All in this area. We're just not doing it yet. We're going to run right over here. Hop off. We're going to grab this. You can rest there to de-aggro, but it really doesn't matter. And now you're going to hear somebody talking. That's Bach. I do not do Bach's uh, quest because there's really no point. Box quest, it, it, you don't get anything really great out of it. But we want to do that because we want to get the Semberance. I'm no good at uh, strikes from the horse, so that's why I do that. Another smithing stone. Now you're going to hug this right wall. We're going to grab... Ah, come on. Grab it. There we go. You can fall right here. It doesn't really matter. Either way, you're just going to be going this way. Don't ta attack the convoy yet. We'll be doing that later. But that's how you get the great axe, which if you want another big weapon, it, it's a... Uh, I, I found it pretty fun. I used it for a little while before I w moved on to the weapon I'm using now in my main playthrough. <coughs> um, don't fight the crabs. They, they will mess you up right now. I mean, they're not impossible, but I would just suggest against it. Come over here. Touch this. There is a shiny over there that you could go get. But we're going to wait and grab it here in a little bit later. One of the weapons that I was going to start with, the Grand Epi, the Great Epi, is right over there. So if you want a good uh, <coughs> rapier weapon, I'll show you how to get that here in a little bit. Now, there is... A ballista right there. I have never been hit by this ballista. It always goes over my head. Always. Grab that smithing stone. Grab that key. Run right over here. Jump. Hop off. Touch this. I was just rest here real fast just to diagro. back into this now there is a girl over there don't talk to her um i don't know if it moves up her her storyline and the stuff that's going on at castle morn but i just find it easier not to talk to her until i need to i'm just gonna run over here jump off morning star great little bleed weapon uh and also good for uh, if you're uh, a faith build, it's really good. It's also a really good weapon for the Sacred Blade. I, I used it many a times. Run, 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 and swing! Oh, bastard. Run, 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 run. Swing! There we go, mighty shot. Now, if those things disappear and you don't get it, you can uh, remedy that by just quitting out and coming back and reloading your game. Grab this grace. Run over here. I know selling. Uh, sells a few. Oh, one. Smith is zone two. Some more, uh, one crack pot. One key. That's not bad. Bastard sword. Eh. I mean, we're using the great sword, so obviously we don't need it. But 
And then if you wanted the Crimson or Amber Medallion, it's right there. You will. That that was one of the things you could start the game off with, but. Now, literally, you're just going to run down here. Pick up the map, turn around, and run. Because there's a very powerful archer over there. So now we're going to go right this way and we're going to get some magic spells and other fun stuff. Right around this ruin. You can hop up if you want, if you, like, you really want to get ruin pieces, uh, which are needed to make the rainbow stones. You can do that. You don't have to. So what we're about to do is all about speed. So we're going to run around, ignoring everything in this town except for one thing. Don't let these rats bite you. They can inflict madness. We're going right in here because we're just getting two things. We're getting this and we're getting this. Like I said, watch out because those rats can inflict madness on you, which is bad. Ow. I didn't recognize what that thing was. Got shot for my troubles. There it is. Rest to Diagro. Now we're gonna we're going to be going down. You see that wooden bridge right there? That's where we're going. And there's a safe way to drop right over I wanna say it's right here. If you don't feel that it's safe, move around. And you can hold on to your uh, second jump for a little bit. I can see I took a little bit of damage, but nothing serious. Now we're going to ride past him. Don't let him fight you right now we're just gonna ride past all these guys uh, their spears are not bad though if you really want their uh, spears you can farm them the, these little tree guys um, but I can get you a tree spear pretty early in, in Lyernia in fact, I'll run over and go grab it because it's it's fairly simple to get. So we're going to run right up here. Hop off. Grab the grace. Grab the sacred tier. And now we're going to go get another thing for our physic flask. Come out this side. Uh, no, no, no. We got to go up. Got to go up to go down. Yeah, we need to go right over this way. See, torrent just breaks them just by riding near them. We're looking for three flower monsters in a triangle.
There they are right down there. That's where we're going, right there in front of us. So as you can see, it's it's kind of over here, but that gives us the faith tier. Now, if you don't mind risking getting poisoned, run over here, kill all three of these, because that'll take you out of combat, and then you can literally just open it back up your map and teleport back to the church. Oh, we haven't done anything with our physics, so if you go into your physic, uh, your wondrous physic, you have, uh, restores half of your HP when you pop the physic, temporary boosts your stamina, uh, when you pop it, temporary boosts your strength, Uh, the one we just got is Faith. And this one increases your charge attacks. So I like to use these two for early on. Uh, you could also use the charge one and the strength one. And once the, the scaling on this weapon gets better, that's probably what I'll do. So, run down here. Ooh, got a sanctuary stone. <coughs> now, as you get down here, you will start to see these knights right there. Those are called mausoleum knights. And you can farm them for their gear. Uh, it's not a bad looking set of armor. Uh, it has everything but a helmet because they're all headless. This is a mausoleum. It's used to copy uh, remembrances. So if there's a remembrance you really want, you can copy it. But we're going to run down here. Pop off, touch this, because we're going to get one of our very good items right over here. Talk to this gentleman. And this is what we need for him, the lantern. And I'm almost there. Once again, storm soul key, uh, stone sword keys, important to get, but you can kind of hold off on getting them. This is a... Uh, crafting item. Lost Ash of War. You could only have an Ash of War on on one Ash of War on one weapon. So say I put Sacred Blade on uh, the Morning Star we just found. If I want to put it on my Great Sword, I have to lose it off the Morning Star. So this is a way to uh, not do that. You duplicate it. But this is what we really need. It's it's only 1,800, so that's not bad. I just need 200 runes. So go into your inventory, slide down to your runes, and see this is worth 400 runes. This is worth 200 runes, so I literally just need to pop a single one. Anything else? Have a safe journey. And then I like to put that in my down section right here. So anytime we're in a place where I need it, I can just do that and it's hanging off my belt. Hands free. I don't have to carry a torch. All right. So that is all that we're going to get down here. There's a lot of, a, there's a lot more. This has one of the legendary armaments. There's some churches over here. You can get some stuff in. Uh, but we're going to come back to all that.
So now we're going to go to first step. <coughs> and you're going to run over here and we're going to talk to him again because he mentions that oh you went to round round whole table i fear you i don't blame why not are you going to be a uh tell him that i'll fly straight and true uh that's important because if you don't do that he won't move to the church of roses later where you need him to be to finish the uh to continue his arc so we're gonna run this way Drop down here, avoid the bats. Now, do not ride that way. That way is a dragon. We will be killing that dragon. We're just not ready yet. Run over here. Jump right here. This is another one of the weapons I was going to, that was on my list. And that was starting with the Twin Blades. A very good dex weapon. A lot of people enjoy it. So we're going to run right back up. Hop on your horse. Now there are dogs over here. And if you're not careful, they will jump you. But we're going, we're going right over here. That's the one good thing about this weapon, though. It, one hit will kill multiple people. Run over here. Grab that golden rune. Run down here. Uh, there, if you listen to their prayers, they're actually ask, asking Aleel, uh, Agil, the dragon of this area, to come down and kill them. You do not have to... Oh, my God. Really? Oh my god, death number two because all my attacks are going right over its damn head. Start at the stake. Oh, that that was such bull. Ugh. Fucking die, dude. Damn. So now we're going to walk down here. Yeah, see, he's just low enough that even the thrust went right over his head. Now, do you have to kill them? No. If you run straight down here, you can open this door. The problem is that if you're a caster, you may not have enough life to survive waiting for the trap to, to finish grabbing you. Now, you can grab this now or you can grab this when we come here later. I like grabbing it now just so I don't forget about it. And now we are going to run like we got caught in church stealing. Run, 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 run. Yes, you're going to get hit by threads. 
that can and will end you. Like that. There's a bunch of pests above us that are shooting us, shooting threads down. Uh, if you're really good, you can dodge them, but I found that my dodging on them is uh, shaky at best. So that is death number three. Keep running, keep running, keep running. You want to go right over here. Ow. Drop down and grab this. Rest here. And we are now in another part of Kaled. Right over there is the magical city. Uh, that if you're doing um, a couple of quests, that's where you're going to have to go. But we are 100% not ready to be up there. We're barely ready to be where we are now. Dodge those. Ah, here we go. Guys, leave me alone. Leave me alone! Okay, so this is a pain in the backside. Uh, it, now, if you're a caster, this is really easy. You just wait till he gets right aligned with you and cast a spell. Too early. This is literally for uh, poison armament, which is an incant that gives your weapon poison. It's not super important. I just like getting everything. But if I can't get it now, I will definitely come back and get it later when I have uh, attacks that will hit it no matter what. Ah, sorry about that. My mic slipped. Started the swing too early. <laughs> like I did it one time by using my uh, axe that had wild swings on it and just wild swing while walking forward. Got him. Now, the water here will poison you. That is the giant rot swamp. But if you are on torrent, you're fine. Only the geysers will hurt you. Right over here, hop out. We're gonna, we need this for later for when, uh, when we actually come in here to beat Commander O'Neill. This makes that so much easier. <clears throat> but we're gonna hop out, we're gonna go to our west. To a very big ruin over here. And we're going to help out our caster buddies. You're about to get some really fun stuff. So run over here. You're going to go up these stairs. Right here in the corner. It's the full traveler set. And, the, and some perfumer bottles. And now... No, we're not going down there yet. We need to go... Where is it? There it is. Now, whenever I see some people do this, 
on YouTube, they always go inside. I don't know why. If you just walk over here, you can grab it from this corner. That's the astrologist staff. That staff is... Um, Uh, that staff is one of the best early game staffs in the in the game. It starts with S rank scaling and intellect, but and it improves all gravity spells like Rock Sling. It just you can't upgrade it. But trust me, early on there is no no uh, spell that will do anywhere near uh, the damage that thing will do. Now we're going to get to one of the most frustrating shiny beetles in this fucking game. Where is he? There he is. This beetle will run from you. See? So if that happens, technically he's just teleporting to another part. <clears throat> but trust me when I say it is one of the most annoying things to do. So what I do is if that ever happens. And this one gives you an ash of war called poison spray. Ah, I'm too close. Yeah, see, he's right there. Uh, I'll come around and get him later. Because we got to come back in here later. I'll do it when... Yeah, see, missed him completely. And then he'll go right over here. Where is he? He should be right in this area. Because he, he basically has three places he teleports to. I can never remember the third. Oh, there he is. Ah, he got stuck on something. But yeah, that gives you poison mist. So now we're going to run over here. Go up this way. We're going to get the map for this area. So the map for this area is right over here. And we're going to talk to that merchant. And he has another one. He has the rot bone arrows, uh, stone sword key, and another crack pot. And he also sells the full uh, hero's gear. So if you didn't start with the hero, but you like their outfit, you can come over here and get it. We're going to run right over here to get this grace over here. And now we are going to go back to the Storm Hill Shack. Now we're going to follow up this road, but do not completely follow it because we're not going to go fight Margaret right now.
We're going to go this way. That's what we're looking for. Right all the way to the end of this. Grab that cookbook, run down, and there is another shiny right over here. This is for a shield power to get the storm wall. Storm wall isn't bad. Uh, you put it on a shield and you're able to deflect arrows with it. Not bad. Go ahead and, yeah, put on your, uh... You don't need this, but it's dark. But you're not fighting anything in here. You're literally just going to ride through. don't matter Run all the way to get the grace now you're on the other side of the Stormvale castle which is right there that's the the first legacy dungeon So we got some stuff to get over here. First, you want to run down here. You want to go into this church. You can turn off your... Uh, we want to go into this church for two reasons. One, we, of course, want the sacred tear. Also, we want to talk to this guy. He asks for a small donation. You give him ten runes, and you get to Thops. Uh, if you, Glintstone Pebble is what the astrologer starts off with, um, but if you're Confessor or you started off with, or, or, excuse me, Prisoner, or you started off with anything that wasn't Intellect, this is a very good spell. It, it's a arc, goes right in front of you, not bad. Starlight is just a light. Uh, it's, Apologies it's not that good. Oh, and then if you talk to him, he says, Hey, I want to get into the academy. I got kicked out and locked. Or I accidentally got locked out when the war started. So I've been, uh, stuck. Hey, if you find a glintstone key that hasn't been used, bring it to me. Cause once a key is used, it can't be used by anybody else. So now we're going to follow this down. There's going to be a camp right in front of us. We're literally just going to ride through, grab a recipe book, and then keep riding. We're not going to stop and fight anything. I mean, you can. If you want to, you can 100% do it. But these enemies are slightly stronger than what we're used to. Keep riding, jump. Grab the grace. Once again, we're gonna go talk to our shop friend over here. We're also gonna grab his butterflies. And he's got a full set of astrologer stuff. If you didn't get the lantern before, you can get it here. Really, we just want it for that crystal darts. And if you want a, uh, a a thrusting sword, it's not bad. He also has unlimited arrows and bolts. But honestly, this is what you you do want to come back and get this later. Huh. Now we're gonna ride through here. You can grab if you're lucky. You can grab this right now 
like I just did. And then just run. Those bells you're hearing are enemies casting spells at you. That will ch The spells will chase you down for a little bit. So hop off. That's one of the spells. But you have iframes while you're in the process of uh, doing that. See, I got jumped on, but because I did that right at the right time, it didn't count. Grab that cookbook. Now, we're going to go over to the Lyscare Ruins. See these guys rising up from the ground? Yeah, we don't want to fight them. Hop off. Touch this. Vanish. That's going to put us here. This is the second uh, legacy dungeon. Now, the guy up here has a thing that will tell you where the key is for it. But I already know where the key is for it. So we're not going to worry about that. We don't need it. But if you want to grab it just for completion's sake, because you don't like leaving behind shinies, feel free. Now we're going to ride along this outer wall. Because uh, there's only one guy over here. Just keep riding. Grab that shield. Keep riding along the wall. So we get over here. Ta-da! We're out of there. Now, to get down from here, turn and jump onto this roof. You have to land on this roof. If you don't, you will die. It's too far of a drop. And then from here, jump here. Land here. Grab that golden seed. And we're going to go get the map of this area. Now, while there are some of these, uh, there are some of those Albrick creatures in here, around here, that right there is the most dangerous thing in this area. The lobsters will fucking end you. So be careful. Because there's the grace we wanted to get to. Here's the map. And then we're going to hop off. We're going to get this grace just because if, if we die, it makes life a little bit easier. Now, you want to ride around here. And Dalos from the round table is around here and we need to find him because we need to talk to him you are not the yellows I always forget exactly where he is. And it'll take me a while to find him, but we need to find him. Because we need to s trigger his the next part of his story. He's sitting on one of these ruins. There he is. It's me, Dialos. Answer me, would you? Uh, earlier, he talked about his servant who 
whenever he he's like, oh, you turn your back on her and she vanishes. There she Hello, is. Friend. Tell me if you know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refused to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. They laid hands upon the tale I, Dia. So, um, what he's talking about is the Volcano Manor. So after you talk to him, uh, just so you guys can see where he is, he's right here. So look for this signal and he's right above it. But really what he's talking about is the Volcano Manor, which uh, we of course will be doing. We needed that. That's the fr remember I said that if you're having a somber weapon, I'll teach you how to get uh, it up to plus four without costing you anything. We're this is where we're going next. Um, outside of like what you need to actually upgrade it, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we're running over here. Hop out. We're going to teleport. This puts us right beside this map. And then you're going to go right over here because there's a grace on the other side of this tree. Don't worry about the uh, the people who appear in here. None of them will hit you if you just keep riding straight. You're going towards this thing that looks like an obvious door because it's an obvious door. Hop through, jump, rest at this grace to Diagra. This is EG. I am EG, an old toy. Uh, and right he is. You can buy unlimited ones and twos from him, and then also uh, threes and fours. And later on, he'll have a talisman here too. He also can strengthen your armaments. Uh, the bigger your armor, or the bigger your item is. The, the heavier your arm, your weapon is, the more it costs to upgrade it. So, there is a way you can get ones and twos without him. Or, to get up to a four, but you have to buy it. And I'm going to show you how to do it without that. So, you're going to run over here. And we need to go right up here, right here, 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 and then over, I think, this way. So, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff we're going to have to do. So we're going to right over here. Now, what we're getting over here is another thing for our Physic Flask. This is the Intelligent Boosting one. So, get down here. Run into this dark part of the woods. Be careful. There are handsies around here. They are the most terrifying enemies you will fight this early in the game. They are basically crawling hands. With way too many fingers. Ow, 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 ow. As you can see, they will end you if given half a chance. Oh, 
Okay, so there's that. Okay, uh, now we gotta go this way. And the reason is because there's a four right over here. I believe it's right over here. It's just like sitting out. It's like you'll see a chair. And in the chair is a sombering four. There it is. Yep. So there's the four. We can take that off. Now we're running over this way. I I think once we find the goodest boy, that'll be the next place I stop. Because that's where we're going. Is we're going to get up to the goodest boy. Okay. You see lightning strikes. That's because of these plants. You can take damage from it. Those are needed to make uh, lightning grease. Now, if you ride right over here, where is it? There is a... I thought it was right over here. I know it's right over here. Where is it? There's a grace that's like right amongst these. I'm trying to find it. Okay, we'll go back. Maybe I went a little too far. But I know there's a grace in one of these things. I'm going to find it later and it's going to be like that. It's farther down. Anyway. You're going over here because you want this. That's the Sombering Stone 3. So now you have a 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if you have a sombering weapon, or if you're going to use a sombering weapon, you now can get it up to plus four right at the very beginning. I'm guessing it's farther down. I, I want to find that grace because it's useful when we come back over this way to do a lot of stuff. There it is. I just didn't go far down far enough. So there's a mausoleum over that way um, that you can grab. This is the way up to the upper part of it. around this way. See, the next place we're going is right here. That's where we're going right here. Hop off. 
Touch the grace. And now we're gonna do two things. One, we're gonna do this, and we're going up this way. Now, basically, we're ba we're gonna run around this hill. Don't worry about fights. Don't worry about nothing. Just literally keep following this little dirt road, but make sure you stay to the left. Ignore them. I mean, we're we're almost ready to start the main game. This was, this is like one of the last stops we're making. up here just avoid all these people because we are going right here hop out stop and we are running in here because the goodest boy. The Pope. Pope Turtle. Oh, I welcome you. I am Miriam. My apologies. Do you know the how it came to be? Well, that is the shattering. It is here by the matter. And so the earth. Uh, and he gives you a lot of fun stuff. If you find it. Unless, in which case. Now, the really important thing about this is that if you find uh books for magic spells and stuff you're gonna give it to him not anybody else because he is always around even at the end don't hit him uh so he's got the magic glint blade um which creates a sigil and you can create a sigil and it'll if you charge it it'll hold it in the air and then fire it afterwards it's really good for delaying because a lot of the npcs in pve will dodge will do their dodge roll because you started the spell so with this one you could start it they'll roll and then when they come out of the roll they'll get hit by the glint blade and the carrying great sword is not bad it's a very devastating weapon now we're gonna go right over here To get the golden sewing needle and the golden tailoring tools this allows you to tailor the remembrance armors uh, later on you can start wearing like uh radon's ranala's uh, a couple other people's so that's it we have done all our setup when we go back in we're going to go to the church of l and we're going to start knocking out some actual content so i will see you guys in a little bit we're gonna take about a five minute break see you soon oh also yeah i'll make sure it's morning before i leave so